Hello, friends, Yossi here. How to sell your assignment and why your assignment did not sell. How to sell your condo assignment and why your assignment did not sell. That is today's topic, and it's going to be brutal video today because I'm just going to tell you the way it is. What is going on? The market is up in one way and down another. The Toronto real estate market is all over the place. The Ontario real estate market is all over the place. Or is it? I don't know. Looks pretty natural to me. I'm going to try to make sense out of it, but I'm going to focus on how to sell your assignment, how to sell your condo assignment, and why your assignment did not sell. Because these two are really, really connected. So here we go. First thing we're going to do, we're going to go to UrbanRealtyToronto.com, my main website for many, many years. Here I post what I got. Not everything because I don't have the time, but things are important important to me. I'll post them here that many other sites will review. Um, when you go to this site and then you go to the assignment category, okay, it's going to pull everything that I've tagged under assignment category. And 488 University Avenue condo, if it's tagged as an assignment, that's because there's information about assignments in here. Okay, this already closed, probably had an assignment earlier, so Shangri La and so on. These are an assignment uh, status, and if you know, assignment means uh, somebody pre purchased a condo, pre construction, but before it's been registered, before final closing, they want to reassign the contract, they want someone else to take over the contract and complete the purchase so they don't have to close. Now, it's a double-edged sword here. And why I say this? Because assignments are a great tool for investors to really invest with the developer. So, you know, you put your 5 or 10 or 15 or 20 percent down, uh, say on 488 University Avenue, and you get the assignment clause. That means the developer allows you to reassign the contract. Um, and then it comes time to assign, and you want to do that. You do not want to close. Why? Because you don't have the money because your life situation has changed, because you invested elsewhere, because you need the money, because some people died, have acted on, sadly it happened, a more happy thing, got married, had kids, whatever. So I'm not allowed technically to tell you what's for assignment and where. So what I'll do is I'll do a generic page, for example, for ADH University, and then you can call me or email me and say, do you have any assignments in this property? Or I have an assignment for sale. You'll see I'd like for you to sell it for me. And what I'll do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, okay, cool, send me your agreement of purchase and sale and a floor plan. I'll take a look at what what did you buy and I'll, 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 get an, I'll, get, I'll give you an estimation of what I think it's worth, how long it's going to take to sell and of course how, how much it's going to cost you. Okay, that's what people want to know. How much can I get? How long is it going to take? How much is it going to cost me? Either way, if you are in a situation where you must sell you got to be a bit more flexible. If you bought a condo and now for whatever reason, I'm not blaming anyone here, you can't afford it for any reason. Things change, life changes, everything becomes so much more expensive. Maybe you need to divert. And believe me, I had to divert funds as, as an entrepreneur, business owner, real estate agent. You know, we get n no salary. I've not been on a salary for many, many years uh, since 9-11. Okay, that's the last time I had a job. None. Okay, so entrepreneurs need to shift money here and there, and maybe you bought a condo, it looked really good, but now you need the money out. Okay, so how do you do it, and what is going on in the market? So I'm going to review how to sell your assignment and one your, why yours did not sell. The first thing to understand about how to sell an assignment is there is no assignment market. Okay, you can go to various websites like yossikaplan.com, which I just put up, and it's very, very popular these days. Okay, which is great, and I what are assignments, how to buy and sell. That's the video, uh, the first video I've done. If I ever have any time, I'll make a course about assignments because no one teaches this. And believe you me, the lawyers and the agents don't really know much about assignments. Uh, the other week, we had an offer coming to one of the properties we offering for sale via assignment. And those assignment docs, which are very, very simple once you know them, uh, came in blank. The guy only filled the price but didn't do anything else. I'm like, I can't even use this. Like, does this agent actually understand assignment? He was yelling at me on the phone. I'm 15 years agent, 18 years agent. Well, why don't you complete the form? Okay. Was this person lazy? Was he a lazy agent or unprofessional agent? I mean, if you're lazy, nothing's going to help you. But if you don't know what you're doing, even after 15 years, let's say you did commercial properties and now you want to sell an assignment. I'll have a lot of agents who call me to sell their own assignments. Lawyers call me to sell their own assignments. That 
That was this morning, by the way. It was a great morning. I got a lot of work done. Very fast. The first of the month, always very busy. But I'm going to squeeze that video in. What happens? In order to sell assignment, you cannot post it on MLS. The, the simple reason why you cannot post the assignment on MLS is this. You do not own the unit yet. It doesn't even exist, and it's not registered to your name. Okay? The other hidden reason why you can't sell assignment because the developer is afraid that you're going to beat them in their own game. Let's say a developer starts selling his condos at 800 bucks a foot, and you lay 900 bucks a foot, and then 1,000 bucks a foot, and you bought at 800, and now you want to flip your assignment for 900. And the developer still has some units left. The developer has some units left. They go, well, you're really competing with me. I cannot allow it. Therefore, I cannot allow you to post your assignment on MLS, not because you don't own it. Some developers will actually allow you to do it, and that's fine, because they don't want you to compete with them. Okay? <laughs> it's very, very important to understand. Developers do not want you to sell your assignments. Even when they give you, you know, every single condo, scout condos have assignments, this uh, stockyard has assignments, everything I put, you know, everything has assignment clause available, but you can't really post it. So how do you sell your assignment? Well, you come, let, let's say in Brantford, okay? In Brantford, let's click on this link. In Brantford, we bought a bunch of townhomes, and now we're offering them as an assignment. But, you know, we don't own them yet because they're not done and not registered to our name. Uh, and even if it's sold out, the developer may not want you to do it because maybe they have another project coming in a higher price or whatever. Developers, you know, they, they keep the cards very close to the chest. They're very terrified. They have huge, huge upfront costs. It's very, very stressful to be a successful developer. And successful means to make a dollar is very, very complicated. I know a lot of people that are developers, but they don't make any money. They just invest because the costs are so high. So that's the first thing to understand. So how to sell your condo assignment is by going to people like myself who, who have a large network available, okay? And through that network, you can sell your assignment. That's, you, that's how you do it. It's not enough to put an admin Kijiji. I got a lot of people go, oh yeah, yeah, I'll just do it myself. Say, so, okay, well try, call me back in a week or a month and they all call me back and say, okay, you need to do it for us. Why? Because we don't know how to do it. And the offers you get are crazy. When it comes to selling assignments, you're gonna get the craziest offers you've ever seen. It's ridiculous. It's a huge headache. I mean, to put a page like this with all the information and then all the numbers, you know, that takes hours and hours. This takes days on end to collect all the information. And then this is, by, by the way, my favorite development right now. It's in Brantford, across from the school. I've mentioned it before. You can get yourself a townhouse for four ninety five with $35,000 uh, down. That's it. And the rest you can finance or you can bring money from home. It doesn't matter. But we'll sell you because we only have the five units available with the assignment clause for 35000 deposit. Now, imagine what's going to happen to a developer that's going to come hard on those who want to assign and say, don't assign. Tomorrow morning, the whole city, the GTA, Ontario, will know this developer is not playing ball. You think anyone's going to buy from him? No. You think I'm going to tell my clients to buy from a developer, tell you do not assign, even I gave you assignment calls, give you a hard time? Of course not. And forever, that developer will be off, right? It's going to destroy their business overnight. So it's a fine game of advertising the assignment without advertising the assignment. That's how you sell the assignment. So yes, you can do Kijiji and Craigslist, and we do all these, but the problem with Kijiji and Craigslist is most of the classifieds you see there, the people that advertise them, it's not even theirs. Today I looked at a site for property management, and I found uh, the property from Niagara it hasn't been, been built, offered as a short-term rental, because I was following the Airbnb new rules, and I'm going to give you a video about that. It's so ridiculous that someone actually posted the video, uh, uh, posted uh, the cut and paste from Niagara. Uh, is it still here? It's somewhere here. And it doesn't even exist yet. We just sold it. Okay? <laughs> so how not to sell your assignment is, first of all, try to do it yourself. Chances are, in my opinion, it's 95% or higher chances you're not going to be able to sell it. You just don't know how it works. You don't know how to market, and you cannot reach that kind of marketing, okay? The other thing is that's in Niagara here. They actually use this image, this very image, to show short-term rental. Why would you work with someone who's lying to you right on the website, lying to you, okay? Not good. 
The reason I'm putting all this information out so clearly and simply with the numbers up front, everything is disclosed up front, is because I want you to understand what you're getting into and I need to educate you about real estate. If I spend the time I need to educate someone, like I spend day after day, eight days a week, you know, for 15 or 20 years doing this, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna do anything. So I'm giving you information. No one's expecting you to become a real estate master, but you know, get this information, study the information, look at this project, a couple units left here, and then realize this is pretty good. And you get an assignment close, so you can flip it if you want. I mean, that's the whole idea is we are able to flip it, okay? Another thing to advertise your assignment, to sell your assignment, is on uh, Twitter. Almost said Facebook. Don't like Facebook, really. Twitter. Twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan. What's happening here is that I'm quick things I'm putting up. And I'm going to go into, I'm going to uh, uh Go into this one for a second because it's really important. It's going to show you something really interesting. So, uh, National Post, Financial Post, Toronto Home Prices see biggest drop in almost 30 years. Okay. Uh, market sales down 40%. Okay, so that means the number of sale, and this is only for resale, but want to know new construction because that new construction is not included here. That's MLS stuff. Ah. Toronto new home sales plunge to lowest in almost 20 years and unsold condos pile up. This is great news, my friend. This is very, very good news. Why? Because you know when you go to Market Watch and you can see the numbers are going down, this is very, very good because I told you Market Watch, the numbers have gone up too quickly. Some of it because irresponsible immigration policy. Okay, and some of it because all this pressure on the market, you know, and it's basically one person does, all the lemmings follow. Okay, that's why I get throughout these years, all these people say, why did you buy this unit? Well, it was the last unit in the building. So you bought the inside corner, you paid top dollar, you don't even have a window. You might as well just buy a storage unit. A third of the price, you make more money on it. Because storage actually makes really good returns. Look at this, 2015. Uh, 18, 16, 15, 14. So 14, you can see it's, it's quite high. The speed of acceleration, the acceleration itself is accelerating, but now it's coming down. So we're going to go back to maybe uh, two years, maybe three years. For me, it's actually a welcome change. I would like to see this. I would like to see the average price going down a bit because it went up too fast, okay? It's not like it's going to go down forever, okay? It's just not going to happen because it has to go up because the economy is rigged. I told you that a million times before, the pretty money like crazy. Um, if you're following a bit of news and politics and, and whatever, you're going to start to understand that money is fake. If you look at my Bitcoin videos, I explain why money is fake. Do you have any money here? I have any money I can show you, but if, and if I showed you the money, it's not real. I can take any piece of paper and say this is money. Who cares? We just agree that this is money, so now it is, okay? And you can print as many as you want, but when you add them without any, anything to back it up, then you're going to get inflation. Or if you want to hide the inflation, then price is just going to go up. So what you're seeing here is, an, is a hedge against inflation. People are scared because I'm making less money and everything costs more. I need to invest somewhere. And every day that you do not invest, you're making a mistake. Because people say, I'm waiting for the market to collapse or to crash or whatever. Well, the market is going to do what the market does best, which is to equilibrium, equalize itself. It's a perfect market. You know, I put a, uh, I put, uh, there's a guy that spreads a lot of bad news online and I dare to put one or two comments. And of course, I got trolled by all these guys. Okay. I guarantee you, none of these people are homeowners. None of these people ever like, did anything to do with investment they're just angry and i that's okay they're very angry because they can't afford anything anymore so they're just bitter and they're angry why is it going up so much and now they're celebrating it's going down but they don't really get it okay the reason these are going down is very simple the toronto real estate market is very good and very busy people come here every day what's happening now is people want to see what's going to happen so it's like a whole society is kind of waiting on the sidelines. But in the meantime, the developers cannot give you a deal because they pay too much. 
okay? So there's an equilibrium. If the price went up too much, it's going to come down to the level it needs to be, and the market will fix itself. That's what the market does. It's just going to do it by itself, and because there's millions and millions of us, we're going to do it, okay? So if I get prices even, I say, here, it's okay, okay? It's okay. Of course, the media will be really happy, and everyone's going to scream and yell and kind of laugh for a minute. But if you remember, in uh, 2008, you can't even see this. But for six months, there was a bit of a drop in the market. And that was one of the best times for me and my investors. I was still like pretty new, just a few years in. And we were like just killing it. We were selling at three to $400 a foot at the time, if I remember correctly. And it was fantastic. You know, people got a lot of good deals. I mean, Maple Leaf Square was selling, I think, in the 400 range or the 300 range, and then ice came across the street. You know, anyone that did these deals, you know, they bought a 300. Now it's worth a thousand. So three and a half times your money in 10 years. Not bad. Where else can you do it? And even if it went up only by two times in 10 years, still not bad. Where else can you do this? Okay. So how to sell your assignment? How to sell your Toronto condo assignment? is by going to where the people are. And the people come where they know they're safe, they get the right information, they get good tools, and they can understand what's going on. And one thing when you come to sell your assignment is you have to have realistic expectations. Because I'm gonna tell your friends, most people do not, because they're not real estate people, they have $100,000 in the pocket, and then they meet some agent, and they convince them to go and buy this or that, and then they go and buy that, and they get all excited, and two years later, they realize it maybe wasn't the best one, okay? Out of each building, I would only consider on average about 5% of the units. That's it. And out of those 5%, I pick the 5% and the 5%, literally like a half a percent, okay? If a building has 500 units, maybe 5 or 10 units there, I would consider investing in. That's it. And if I don't get that unit, I just don't go there. And, you know, there's so many bad floor plans, you cannot even imagine. Okay, and people are buying shitty floor plans, excuse my language, but there are crappy, crappy floor plans. A lot of them are. They're just not good enough. And because they're not good enough, people still buy them because they don't know what they're buying, and then they get stuck. Now, if you have good floor plans, like, like uh, King here, and this is the Chinese New Year special. Let me see if I can zoom in. Does this work? These guys are doing... An event now I lost everything here okay go to my Twitter and do it yourself these guys are doing an event that I have access to and if you like go here I'll add you to my list this building the King West building has sold 85% this one here has sold 85% so far 85% okay and because it sold 85% they're going to raise their prices raise their prices. Do I have a page for this one? I have somewhere deep in. Okay, I'll go back to Twitter, it's easier. Um, because this has sold 85%, they're going to raise the prices on February 15th. Now, if you remember, this is one of the most expensive buildings in town, and the price is going up, up, because it's good design, it's good building, it's good quality. I made a video about it. Um, one million, uh, I called it uh, one million, one bedroom. Remember that one? Let's see if I can see it here. One million, one bedroom? Where are you? <laughs> uh, one million, one bedroom. You see it? Over there, you'll see. One million, one bedroom. There you go. And uh, one, one million, one bedroom? Yeah. And the reason that I did this video is to show you that this will do work. I went to this development and I liked it. It's good. I went to the presentation. Ian Gillespie flew in for that day. That guy will fly anywhere to speak and he was a phenomenal speaker. But most importantly, he showed us what this project is all about, how good this project is and how unique it is. This is really like a proper community. That is, I took that picture. That's at the presentation. It's packed. 85% sold out. February 15th, whatever is left, prices are going up, not down, up. And I guarantee you that many more developments and we are raising the prices. So it's not like prices are falling. Prices are adjusting. So if you were to sell an assignment, 
you know, if you buy here $1,500 foot, it's going to take you a while to sell the assignment because the price has to come up. However, if it's sold out and somebody wants in, they're going to pay you what they need to pay you. Same with Nobu, same with 488 University, all these high-end buildings, they're very, very good quality because I like quality, okay? If you buy trash, trash, I don't want to trash anyone, but a lower quality at a B or C or D location, you're not going to do that well. But if this will do amazingly well. This is a 20-year-long investment. Anyone that bought at the Thompson, you know, the little units at the Thompson were about 260 at the time. They're $600 foot. People thought, this is crazy. But they're selling for five or five more now. Okay, so almost 300 more than double. Say so they, they doubled themselves. That's pretty good. And they're getting crazy rents. You know, this tiny little 400 square feet bedroom at the Thompson get anywhere from two to 2,500 a month. I'm, I'm not kidding you because people want to live there and they're really just like 100 of them. So when you want to sell your assignment, you're going to make sure first that you buy the right one and then you have the right channels, okay? So the right channels are where the people go to look for assignments. So they come to Yossi Kaplan, they email Yossi Kaplan, they look at the Yossi Kaplan websites, they look at some of the assignment contract, they look at what's available and most of these units will be other... Uh, either under assignment or an assignment clause, okay? And of course, if time to close, to register the unit, there's no more assignments. It goes to, you gotta close, pay all the fees, land transfer, development charges, lawyer, blah, 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 blah. Now it's yours in a deed, and now you can put it on MLS like everyone else. And now you become part of the statistics of this one. Get it? All right, what else? Um, so I showed you the report. It'll be very, very interesting uh, next week. Today's February be first, so maybe like on Thursday, hopefully the report will come up and we'll see. But, you know, I'm expecting the average um, to go down. And I'm really happy that it will go down because it will weed out the weak. It will weed out those investors that overpaid. Done. I'm sorry, guys, but, you know, you got to get out on time. And it's really about controlling your ego and understanding that maybe you didn't see the big picture. And trust me, I've done it a million times. Everyone makes mistakes. A lot of mistakes are going to get exposed now. And we're going to see why you didn't sell your assignment. So I promised you two things, how to sell the assignment and why yours didn't sell. So how to sell it is going to people like myself, okay? Now, i got to tell you, those agents that send me blank contracts, I don't even look at them. It's just not real, Okay. Or agent that will say, yeah, I'll sell it for you for half a percent or whatever. It's not real because they're not investing anything in selling the assignment. How can you do this if you're not going to invest? You're just going to take the listing and then your listing is going to sit with someone who's not going to do anything with it. No one's going to know about it and just say, oh, yeah, 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 I'm just going to put on WeChat. Not anymore. Okay, not anymore. Actually, I've been receiving a couple calls every day, sell my condos for me, sell my assignment for me. And I guarantee you this will be more and more and more. So what am I doing? I'm, my desk is clear. My hard drive has got lots of room. I got a big smile and big heart to welcome your deals and to start flipping them properly. Okay? And at the same time, if you look at to make on a thousand dollar middle estate, you can do it with assignment because somebody's gonna just get out and is so scared. And they don't really care for the price because they want the money in the pocket now. Well, I got a great deal for you guys. And I may or may not publish it. You know, unless you go on a newsletter, you won't really know. And some people say, send me everything you got. I'm not even going to respond to this. It's ridiculous. It's not professional. First of all, I'm going to talk to you, okay? If I can't talk to you on the phone and it's all text or email and you're in the country, it's not, it's not serious, okay? I need people who are serious because there's so many deals to do. There's so much work. So many people want to buy and sell. There are so many investors that need to sell and there's so many investors who want to get a good deal. I'm focusing on those and those only. And, you know, I don't want to find like, I don't want to sound like this, like, you know, my nose is like high up. It's not. It just, you know, there's so much I can do and it literally takes me hours and hours to prep the assignment because when an agent calls me, I have a ready-made flyer for them. I have all the stats available. I have the numbers available, and I can send you a file with everything. Everything you need to do to fill in the form, like the guy didn't do. Okay? 
So if you're hiring a real estate agent who doesn't even know how to deal with assignments, what's the point? What's the point if they're going to tell you, I'm going to do it for cheap, I'm going to do it, I'm going to get like some cash back, if they don't even know what they're doing? Or they don't know how to sell the assignment and they don't have the network. Assignments is all about the network, okay? Uh, today somebody called and, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to say who or what the project. It doesn't matter, but it's a good example. The person that called said, oh, I have this assignment. I said, sure, send me what you got. So they sent me what they have and I looked at it, fine. And I called back and I said, this is, this is your strategy. This is what you need to do, okay? And this is how, you're gonna, and this is how it's going to sell. And this is what we're going to do. Assignment. Let's see what DuckDuckGo got. DuckDuckGo and Firefox, my friend. The way to go. Gotta love the Go, the DuckDuckGo. Okay, and the reason this person um, is, I, I guarantee you, I hope not, but they returned back to me and said, well, we're only going to do 30 days with you. I said, I can't do that. First of all, in order for me to make all these media, it takes hours and hours and end. And then, Either I do it myself or I'm going to pay someone to do it. That's money out of my pocket because that time I spend with you, I can spend with someone else who's a lot more focused about, yes, I want to sell it. So I got to go where I can succeed. And that's a, that's, that's a partnership. That's a contract. That's a teamwork. An assignment does not sell in 30 days. It sells in about six months, sometimes less, but mostly you'll take some of that. And... It's going to sell at the very last minute where people can see it from outside and there's so excitement, they're going for it. But the reason I like to post the assignments up front is because when I do this, then you get a lot more hits on Google or DuckDuckGo and you get up to the top of the results, okay? And then more people see it and the more people see your listing, the more chances you have to sell it. These are just some stuff that DuckDuckGo finds. It's like thousands and thousands and thousands of images throughout the years. This is all from last year, actually. So, you know, every day I upload information. Every day there's more information about Yossi Kaplan and Google and DuckDuckGo. Every day there are more assignments for sale from Yossi Kaplan. That's why people come, because we have, we have this momentum. We have a mass that wants to do it, okay? So how to sell your assignment? First of all, um, Pick the right network, many networks even better, and focus, focus, focus. Focus on the one person that will do it for you, that you can trust. You know, now sometimes I take an assignment and you're not going to hear from me for a couple of weeks, but that's okay because in the, in the background, things are happening. Uh, yesterday, we sent an email to about 9,000 people. I did a, a, a partnership with another uh, company, and we sent an email to 9,000 thousand people database about various properties that is crazy but that's the exposure you want and the reason you're not selling your assignment is very simple is because you're not marketing properly it's not going to the right people and of course your price is too high your expectations are not real and you know the stats when you overprice your listing you're going to end up selling for less than what you could have it's it's true it's statistical it's not me so get it in your heads, guys and ladies. You gotta be realistic about your expectations, and you gotta work together with me to sell your assignment. Because I will sell it. I will sell it. You know, we've done hundreds of these deals. We know how to do them. We we work with a few real estate lawyers that really understand assignments. I'm not gonna talk about real estate lawyers right now, but some of them are amazing, phenomenal, so good. Love working with them. And some of them don't understand assignments and they just get so scared they kill the deal. So pick the lawyer, pick your team right. Pick the real estate agent that knows how to do it, that has the network, and the lawyer that plays together because we need to be a team, okay? So how to sell your assignment, the right network, the right people, the right price, the right everything because you're competing with everyone else. Right now you're competing with Whatever inventory is, I don't know how much they say, maybe uh, they sold 25,000 new homes. That's a lot of homes, 21, but let's say there's 20,000 homes waiting to be sold. You know, you know, I told you, half a percent or half a percent out of those 20,000 homes, maybe 100 that are actually worth it. So as long as you bought well, you'll sell no problem. And even if you didn't buy well, you can still adjust it with your price. Um, okay, got to go more calls and uh, people to meet. So that's for today.
I hope it was good for you. Ask me anything you want. Um, if you want a home evaluation, go to yossikaplan.com, sell my property, home evaluation. There's a quick form that will pop. You can put this in and I'll call you right away, give you the estimations. Uh, these are links, uh, Toronto, I've shown you before. Every single, site of, every single site of my site have this now. So I want to see uh, where have we have not visited recently. The waterfront. Let's see what's going on in the waterfront. So you click here and it will open a link to yossi.searchrealty.co, the rec link to searching for waterfront. And it will show you what's in the waterfront, latest listing, highest price, Really nice uh, small penthouse here. It needs a bit of reno, but very good in my opinion, by the way. So there's a lot of good stuff here. Okay, that's it. That's all I got for today. Uh, have a great day, guys. Have a great weekend. If you have any questions, as usual, put the comments. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. It really means a lot to me. At the end of the day, we're all people. We all live in the same town. We're all pounding the same pavement. You know, there's no difference here. Um, and that's it. That's how it goes. Take it easy. You'll see out.